Good afternoon. George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds. Guys, how are you? Um, kind of a weird day today. Uh, new lows in the tenure last night, but we did not see new lows in the bonds. Um, we saw that flattening going on yesterday, and as us old hands know, those flattening yield curves are warnings of, you know, friendlier uh, bond and note trading. And we saw that again today with the market opening up near the 20 level in the in the uh, 10 year and just above that 147 20 area in the bonds and it's been pretty much straight up until well it rallied into the buyback and it sat there near the highs for a little bit about within the half hour after the buyback which is kind of that important window we did see a slightly higher high and then the market reversed a little bit but it looks like we closed positive in the 10-year and in the bonds and we're seeing minor reversal days. Remember these are only minor trend change indicators. All they are telling us is that we should see a retest of today's high and possibly a slightly higher high. We're going to try and fall back on the game you know where we come in Sunday night our friends over in Asia or in Europe are looking at the dollar going down quite a bit so even if they are happy about their bonds going up I think they lost more on the dollar side of the trade today than they made on the bond rally side of the trade so I still think we could see a dip Sunday night the dollar index is breaking out on the downside the euro is breaking out on the upside you know we're not seeing that tight correlation in those uh, trades like we saw before but I still think it'll tend to give the market a bit of weakness Sunday night. I want to buy the dip Sunday night, look to sell it into the uh, buyback on Monday morning. Barring any surprises with the fiscal cliff stuff, I see President Obama supposed to start speaking here later this afternoon. He's the one that's going to make an announcement. If there is any good news, I think that'll damage the bond market a little bit. We'll see how much. We don't want to see new lows, obviously. I personally don't think the 10 year should trade much below 20 and the bonds should not trade much below 147.15 if they're any good right now. So I'm thinking the 10 year pulls back a little bit, you know, 21, 22, 23, somewhere in there. The bonds maybe get back below 148 even by a little bit, but not by too much. And we'll try to buy those levels Sunday night, you know, again, barring any earth shattering news here. Or did I say Saturday night? I meant Sunday night. Barring any earth shattering news. And then we'll give it to them into the uh, Fed buyback Monday morning. Um, remember the Fed's buying every day next week. Um, bonds and notes, they're mostly bonds. Um, one note purchase I believe is Monday. They also start the auction process. The two-year auctions Monday, oh, five-year on Tuesday, seven-year on Wednesday, tips auction on Thursday, and then Friday they give us a break and they just buy the uh, bonds again on Friday as I think they're just front loading this stuff in front of the holiday and also Operation Twist is winding down now. Um, there is one double POMO next week. I forgot what day they're selling. It's either Wednesday or Thursday where they do the buyback in the morning and then they sell the short dated coupons in the afternoon but I don't think that means much right now. So I think we've entered a fourth wave corrective move here. Um, we've got to see how much we can get out of it. It's going to be very choppy. We're going to be trading very small and we're going to be on alert for any kind of a breakdown here. The second wave was kind of complex, so I think this could just be a simple one, two, three up, ABC up. I don't think it's going to turn into one of these complex, you know, ABC, ABC, ABC type pad, you know, double zigzag, whatever, you know, common 11 common Elliott wave corrective patterns there might be. So I think it'll be a simple ABC up. I think we got to be on our toes. We want to look at uh, some of this move. Today's rally might have been A already. I'm thinking maybe Sunday night, Monday morning, we get a little pullback, and then another rally into Tuesday, Wednesday, and that's it. And then we start the downtrend again. That's, you know, that's a rough framework for you to kind of keep in the back of your mind right now. All right, have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to be late Monday morning. I have a court date again, unfortunately, and uh, I'll be in in the afternoon. So I'll make sure I get the email out at some point early, uh, well, maybe Sunday night. I'll try to put it together. That might be the best thing. You know, we'll see what happens with the news over this afternoon and over the weekend. So, all right, guys, have a great weekend. Thanks a lot. We'll see you Monday afternoon.